Our teletape brought to you by TNNS. Alina Kolesnik is four years older than Aspen Ladd. She is also three inches taller. She missed weight. Aspen Ladd weighed in at the featherweight limit. Two inch reach advantage on the arms and a two inch reach advantage on the legs, both favoring Elena Kolesnik. Justin Roberts is in the smart cage. This next bout is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the PFL women's featherweight division. Standing in the blue corner at five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 145 and a one half pounds with a record of 10 wins and three losses. Fighting out of El Dorado Hills, California, Aspen Ladd. And her opponent, standing in the red corner at five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 146 and one half pounds, with a record of seven wins, five losses, and one no contest. Fighting out of Odessa, Ukraine, she is a 2022 PFL semifinalist in the women's lightweight division, Ulena Cannon Kulesnik. Your referee, Chris Tyone. There's Chris Tyone equipped with the rev cam. Elena Kolesnik is in the purple. Aspen Ladd is in the gray. Ready? 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 Here we go. Fight! Here in the first round, six potential points in the standings. Touch of the gloves. Southpaw stands for Kolesnik. Nice movement here by Kolesnik early. Staying off center line to fight. The eager Aspen Lad who loves to close distance. Yeah, Aspen's a very smart fighter, Kolesnik, though. She said it in, in our meeting. She loves to punch people in the face. I mean, this was as vocal as we've ever heard her. She was fired up. Absolutely, she was fired up. And that was after a miserable weight cut that saw her have to shave her head to try and make it, as Randy mentioned. Aspen Ladd now has grabbed a hold of Elena Kolesnik as we anticipated she would do to try and bring this fight to the ground. Kolesnik doing a nice job of staying on her feet, fighting off the single leg, using the wizard to pull Aspen Ladd up to a chest-to-chest -chest position. And now she's spun her way out. Yeah, Kolesnik looking good so far. She said she was going to be way sharper, way faster at this weight class. So far, she's proving that to be true. She also has been competing in a lot of grappling tournaments, earning herself gold medals. So she's ready for a fight anywhere against Aspen Ladd. PFL fans may remember a couple seasons ago, Elena Kolesnik had Larissa Pacheco on the back foot, was landing combinations, and then just ran into a thunderous punch from Larissa, a counter strike that changed the complexion of that fight. When she's at her best, Elena Kolesnik is formidable. It's like Kolesnik is showing the uppercut, trying to discourage Ladd from maybe changing levels and trying to shoot in. The biggest difference, I think, from Kolesnik is just the fundamentals. Her stance looks very strong. She looks very balanced. She's countering well. She's a little more composed than we've yeah. seen her in the past before. She's picking her shots, using her footwork, finding angles. She was a bit wide open in the previous season. Well, as a fighter who enjoys the brawl, this is actually really, really difficult for someone like Elena Kolesnik to do. But I mentioned she was a national team member a boxing national team member in Ukraine, so she has technical striking background. Ladd landed a good one there, though. Ian Parker, big number next to Aspen Ladd's name. How do we bet this fight? You know what? We talked about this earlier. If this fight stays on the feet, I favor Olino Kolesnik. I think she's the better boxer, and I think Randy pointed out her footwork, and she looks extremely technical. She's not getting sloppy. She's keeping her head straight. She's really throwing that left hand out there. Nice. That plus 350 number looks really solid if you want up. to jump on okay? Kolesnik right now. Do not lean with the fingers, okay? No more. Please. Here we go. Time Chris Taylor wants to prevent an eye poke. Telling Aspen Ladd if she's going to paw that hand out, she's got to get the fingers straight up or straight down. Jake Paul's going to join the show later tonight. Share his thoughts. Kolesnik looks like she's trying to counter. She's just 
waiting for Ladd to come into that striking range and counter punch. Yeah, and that jab is looking extremely sharp as well, keeping Aspen on the outside and of course setting up for left hand as well. Aspen seems to be a little bit confused, hasn't really found the right distance to land shots or shoot in on the takedown. I think that's very much, well, there's a, there's a sharp hook from Aspen Ladd. I'm sure Ladd studied a lot of tape, and this is a completely different look for Elena Kaleshnik in this fight. That's one of the beauties of the, the PFL format. You have a real off season to go back to the drawing board, make the changes necessary, do what you need to do. Just like in any other sport, you can hide your weaknesses. Yeah, and she said after losing to Pacheco, she has been working every single day since that loss. And she wants to fight Pacheco in the final. That, that's her goal here. She, she's, she wants a world championship. Is that beast mode in the house, yeah. Marshawn Lynch? Five-time Pro Bowl running back. Just overall legend in life, beast mode. The rich Dewey Seattle Seahawks there. Former Cal running back also, Biagio Ali Walsh, one time Cal running back. So it all comes full circle. Elena Kolesnik in the purple looking Good here in the first round. Aspen Ladd, still a favorite according to the live odds, but those, that number was a lot bigger when this fight started. Final few seconds of round number one, a technical battle in front of us. Cut. Round two next. Second round, here we go, fight. Still in that southpaw stance, another touch of the gloves. Both fighters pawing out the jabs. Yeah, Kolesnik just looks very balanced. She's staying with a very strong base, a little bit lower than we've seen her in previous fights. And she's not throwing herself out of position. She's not extending and not giving these opportunities for Ladd to counter or get in on those legs. And this lateral motion, hitting a moving target with a takedown, becomes much more difficult when they circle move and move laterally. No question. An exchange of kicks there. Larissa Pacheco, one half of our main event, watching intently backstage. We'll see her later against Julia Budd. Switch feet there. You saw Aspen Ladd stepping through. But Elena Kolesnik stays out of range on both and lands a left hand. I'd like to see her let that left hand go a little more. Run it right down the pipe. Kenny, your call on the counter striking, I think is still true here in the second round. Anytime Aspen Ladd tries to close in to striking range, Kolesnik uncorks one, two. Yeah, absolutely, just that subtle movement. Always setting her feet. There's a, a nice exchange here. Aspen Ladd in on a deep single. See what you can do with this. Right Here's Aspen head. Ladd's blue corner. Bring your leg inside, Aspen. Bring your left knee inside. Don't let her get, don't, don't let her get that under her. Nice wizard outside, position outside by Kaleshnik. High head trip. inside, high single by Ladd. Trying to find a way to outside capture those trip. hips. Take, take Kaleshnik off of her feet. Stay in S grip. There, there you go, there you go. Good, now stay, keep her there. Wesley the temporarily move. thought about stepping across and trying to throw. Aspen Ladd says nothing the doing there. Double underhooks now for Aspen. The There's Kolesnik's the corner. Kolesnik trying to get some head positions. Got to find a little space. Try to re-pummel. Take a little bit of that body lock control Ladd has right now. Get your in front of her face with a frame. Wizard first. Wizard first. Wizard get head control and frame. If you go on your hook, dip, go, go. Now this has been the best entry for Aspen Ladd. 
Not quite able to turn it into a takedown, though. Kolesnik with a beautiful nice. step through. Full mount, trying to get full mount. And now she'll be back to her feet. Excellent work there by Elena Kolesnik. Aspen Lab, though, coming in aggressive, landing a hook. This little wizard whip over. Comes to, almost gets to full mount. Scrambles out of the position. Elena Kolesnik gets back to her feet and back to open space. Now Aspen Ladd turning up the pace here, making Kolesnik really run. Ninety seconds remain in this second round. Kolesnik really staying busy with that jab. It's been a great way to keep Aspen on the outside. Aspen just really hasn't found a way to be effective with her strikes. Kolesnik really hasn't had to respect that striking too much and allows her to focus in on those grappling exchanges and it's less for her to worry about. There's another takedown attempt here from Aspen Ladd. Heavy pressure from Ladd, but not much else here. Kolesnik builds a frame and is able to turn Ladd. Oh, nice knee to the body there from Kolesnik. She landed a couple of them there, once with her back to the cage and once after the turn. Elena Kolesnik looks like a woman on a mission here. Left hand snuck through twice for Kolesnik. A little bit of blood trickling from the Ukrainian's nose. And I'm curious to see if she starts to pick things up if we get into round three, because again, she is going to lose points because of that weight miss. Final few seconds of the second round. And a third frame to come when we return to Professional Fighters League action. There's Aspen Ladd in the gray, Elena Kolesnik in the purple. Elena Kolesnik has looked great in this fight. And it's really hard to put into perspective what she's been through the last couple of years. She's a native of Ukraine. When the conflict started, she had to flee effectively. Had to take the long route down through Europe, here to Las Vegas, where she was able to set up shop at Extreme Couture. She's since relocated training to Thailand. Constantly worried about her family back home, her friends that are still in the army, defending their home country, Kolesnik, Wants to make all of them proud. Wants to win a million dollars and help. This footwork just blowing me away. She did not have these skills a year ago. Using the footwork, those angles, being hard to get a beat on. The counter punching every time Ladd steps in to throw combinations. She's cutting her off and catching her. Very, very impressive metamorphosis for Elena Kaleshna. Yeah, absolutely looks phenomenal tonight. And uh, Sean, I agree with you, you know, to your point about winning the round. She needs a finish. I, I mean, Aspen Ladd needs a finish. I, I would assume that she lost that first round if I was in her corner. So she's got some work to do here. There's a big fat number right next to Aspen Ladd's name when this fight started. Those live odds have swung in the favor of Elena Kolesnik. But now Aspen Ladd trying to work her way to the back of Elena Kolesnik. Kolesnik trying to hand fight, find a way to stay on her feet. Ladd trying to find a way to get an angle on those hips and take Elena off of her feet and put her on the ground. Yeah, Aspen should try to sag her down to the floor head first if she can. She's looking for those knees. Kolesnik trying to turn and face. She can maybe get that left underhook here. There's a look through ref cam. Ref cam. Chris is. Tione is equipped. There's the takedown from Aspen Ladd. She's been searching for it. Can she get a finish from this top position? She's got enough time to do it. Kolesnik turning her back. This is not what she wants to do here. Aspen now gets mount. What a turnaround this would be for Aspen Ladd if she's able to pull off a finish here. Now has the back, has both hooks, has control. And a half a round to work as she goes 
for the side of Elena Kolesnik's head with that right hand. Lad trying to snake an arm around the neck of Elena Kolesnik. Kolesnik needs to get her back flat, but the cage limiting how far she can move. Aspen needs to turn her over to the right. All right, you see this leg position. That is locking down the hips for Aspen Ladd. Like to see if she can turn her away from the cage a little bit. That direction, Aspen trying to get another hook placed in there for full control. So far, Kolesnik doing a good job of protecting her neck. Aspen decides to bail on that now. Climbs right back onto Elena's back. Once again, threatening the neck. You can hear the corner for Aspen Ladd telling, telling her everything you got. They know they need to finish here. She's much closer to one here. She's got less wow. than a minute to make something happen. Elena Kolesnik trying to spin Kolesnik out of trouble. Started turning the right way, trying to get those yep. hips down and away. Ladd able to pull her back in with that hook, that one leg, that anchor. Both hands going to work now with the strikes for Aspen Ladd. Kolesnik once again trying to find some free space, get back to her feet. And now Kolesnik, excuse me, Aspen Ladd a little bit high. Kolesnik could potentially sneak out the back door, but here come the hooks. 25 seconds left. Kolesnik needs to stay disciplined, keep that shoulder and neck and chin together. Needs to tuck that chin well enough and survive this round. Been a lot of pressure from Aspen Ladd now. Is this a 10-8 round? I'm not sure. Final 10 seconds. Aspen Ladd on the back of Elena Kolesnik. And where's the final bell? Time. There it is. That final bell came 12 seconds late. And Elena Kolesnik feels like she's done enough. She survived the trouble of that round. And we go to the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Mike Bell scores the bout 28-28. Judge Adelaide Bird sees it 29-28. Kolesnik. Judge Junichiro Kamijo scores this bout 29-28 for your winner by majority decision, earning three points in the PFL Women's Featherweight Division, Olena Cannon-Kolesnik! <laughs>